Hey, hello, this is Harry from Harry's Guitar. Today we're going to learn some slack key. We're going to do some Raymond Connie slack key guitar licks. So here's a close up. Okay, here's a slack key guitar lick of Raymond's. I'm going to do it slow. Okay, so I'm going to teach you this in maybe half at a time, and then we'll put a chart underneath. Raymond did a lot of these different licks, um, you know, and there's going to be a bunch of them that I'm going to teach you. When he sang songs in between, he would do solos, and in the solos, it would be one of these things. Here's one half, and these would be also great because it would make you go back to some of my old videos and you can learn more things about slack key that will help you to get this kind of movement. Like my first, uh, let me introduce you to slack key, teaches you how to use these double stops. And this is an example of what he's doing. Here's uh, the first half, I'll put a, a chart underneath for you. Okay. The, the main thing you wanna do is make sure you got this thumb pattern. So in this four measures, you got two Gs, and two measures of D. And one way you can practice is simply, you know, uh, the thumb, if you memorize the thumb pattern, that's good because that's your anchor, your heartbeat. That'd be equivalent like the left hand of the piano. Then you can just teach yourself the other side of the coin in a sense. You can just go like this. Because the tricky part with the slacky stuff is all this sliding and like there, and then you slide up. Notice it, the nine is in parentheses, it means you're not re-picking it, it's still ringing. And then from this nine, you slide it to 12. You pick the 14 and they both slide down. So really slow, it's like this. So you wanna keep this anchor. Or it can do So together, I will do it slow again. So you have to fight for it. It's like walking on a balance beam. Okay, now let's do the second line. Okay, so this one, the bass line is two Ds and two measures of G. So it's the opposite. Okay, so this one starts at the ninth fret and 10. So if you did only the, the high part, you pick this with finger, your, I pick it with my pointer finger, ring finger. The both slide down, that's why I have it in parentheses. And then your first finger can go to the five and you got this quick slide, but you keep that this note ringing when you add this. And then this is called a brush. A brush is you take your pointer finger and you strum backwards. So, uh, let's see, I'll do it slow again like this. It's tricky because when you slide, when this two note slide, I'm hitting the bass note. Notice the way I wrote it. Then you hit the bass. You got that slide, this four is still ringing. You hit that bass note and you do a brush. And these two notes are ringing at the very end when I play the last two. So again, you could practice just doing the bass. Or you could do just the top. But when you put it together, So here's the first line again. And the second line. So you can rewind as much as you like. I would copy down the chart. Get a piece of paper, write it down. Have fun with it, but it's authentic Raymond Connie Slacky Licks. Have fun. 